There are three general types of operations in GIS, um, local, neighborhood, and global. So let's start with local. With a local operation, we're only concerned with the values associated with one polygon in this example here. So that in this example, we're looking at um, population density and we're just concerned with the polygon for the one state that's indicated in gray there for Utah. However, when we start talking about neighborhood operations, we're not only interested in that particular state, Utah, but we're also in this case interested in all the adjacent states. And you can see here that for Utah, in the example of Utah, it would have six different adjacent states, so it's getting a value of six here. Nevada has five adjacent states, so it gets a value of five. Oregon has four adjacent states, so it gets a value of four, and so on. So for these um, neighborhood operations, we also have to consider location or values of associated um, or polygons in addition to the polygon that we're interested in. And then for a global operation, we're taking into account um, all, of the, all of the polygons in the data set. In this example here for the Western United States, they're ordered by total population. So California would have the highest population of all the Western states. Washington would be second, Arizona third, and then down to uh, Oregon would be in fifth place, and um, Utah in this case would be the sixth in total population. So we're looking at the entire it's not really a globe, right, but it's our entire data set. The whole global operation is, um, is looking at all of the values within the um, polygons that we have in our data set, and then in this case, ranking them by the population.